Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods, what up, what up? Manners and respect, man. Are your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. If you're new right on over here, special welcome. Those of you who are there with me from the beginning of the journey and you're still here, manners and respect. Now, a long time, I don't know I'm, gonna, I'm, just, I'm just forcing it, I'm just pushing it. It's really hard. I got back a little water just in my bathroom for about six days last week. And then since Sunday it went, I'm going to have none again. But I'm pressing on. Now, today on the today's episode of the Jamaican Cooking Journey, we're going to redo the Jamaican curry mutton. The old time, long time Jamaican curry mutton. I'm going to redo that video. Some people keep asking, Miss Debbie, this, that. I've got one there, but I'm going to redo it since it's the festive season. I'm going to redo it for you today. Now look at me here. I've got right here three pounds of fresh mutton. Nice fresh mutton. Make sure you ensure that your mutton is fresh. And this seems like it's a young mutton because the, 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 the thing, it's slight pink. And, I have, have, and I've often said to you, when your meat is of this color, your meat is soft. So if you get your meat of this color, take precaution or else it's got to put a potato or mash out. Now you want your mutton to have a little of this fat in there. Also, I want you to clean your mutton that you don't have any slime. Put the camera for me, Kimmy. Mutton carries an, a whole lot of slime on it. A lot of people don't know that. And if you don't wash that mutton and clean it thoroughly, and take off that slime, you would never enjoy it. You may even throw up when you're eating or after. So make sure you wash it. You have your little bone, bite-sized pieces, curry, mutton, Jamaican style. Here we go. My water is here and it's boiling. That's the extra noise. The very first thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be grating off all of these garlic inside here. These are the very first thing that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to go finish these and return to you. Grater in some ginger. So you want to grater. I'm not going to do all of this. It's three pounds. But you want to do almost all of this. These, these make sure fresh ginger. If you want to scrape yours, go ahead, okay? Next, you want some freshly, um, when you do this thing now, you wanna ground it or you wanna smash it. This is all spice, or in Jamaica, we call it um, pimento seeds. If you can't get the pimento seeds, you use your all spice. Those are the three main ingredients family in any successful tasting curry mutton. Now, I put in all of this. This is chopped scallions. Do you do what you want, okay? Now, I'm going to be putting some salt. Three pounds, I'm going to be putting in about like, about a teaspoon. And I'm not going to put all now. When I'm graving down, I can always put the rest, okay? Now, I'm, going, I'm supposed to have the great scotch bonnet pepper, but I don't have. So, I'm going to be putting in some red pepper flakes and it smell a wassy look at me here i've had my garlic i've had my ginger my pimento seeds those are the three main ingredients and all of that i'm gonna go rubbing this thing look at me here okay i'm gonna go rubbing all of this all of what i put here this is what i'll be using to season i've gotten a little of my original curry i don't know how much it's still a kick my life in such a disarray that I can't even find the curry back if I throw it up. My kitchen is under siege with no water. So this is my curry with what I have here and my good old Jamaican curry. I don't want nothing more. If you need to powder up your powdered seasoning, go ahead, do your thing, your onion powder. But remember the ginger powder. Okay, I'm going to go get this all rubbed in. And when you see me next, we'll be proceeding to go over on the stove. We are going to start the curry. I'm going to soon come. Okay, I'm back, family. And I'm going to be using some coconut oil. 
I'm gonna be using two of this spoon of some coconut oil for extra flavoring. You know, the coconut oil, it have a special flavor and all of that. Now I'm gonna get my flame up and to this coconut oil, I'm gonna be adding about, a, this is three pounds, I'm gonna be adding about one and three quarters um, of this spoon of my curry. Okay, my curry is should be strong, so I think this should do the trick. So I'm gonna be burning my curry right in here. This is how I do it. You burn it on the medium, yes. And as you go along, you make sure you just, you know, have it like that. You don't burn it until it gets all burned. At this point now, you wanna lower your flame, okay? So we're going to burn it a little more, and when we return, you'll see what I'll be doing. So we'll come back. Curry all burned, and this is what it looks like. Okay, I'm going to go now, and I'm going to get this meat that I seasoned, and I'm going to get it right down in there. I have turned my flame down because I didn't want the curry to get extra burn. Burning the curry, I'm going to the curry at two different something in our family. So look at me here. Look at me, you're gonna turn your flame up right now and you're gonna be get coating. You're gonna coat up this curry. Yeah. Coat up this, this mutton with this curry. And you see the pressure cooker here? Yeah? You just swallow up the tree for the mutton. <laughs> so you're gonna get coat up your meat with your curry. Properly coated. Eh? Have it down in there and you have it all coated. Coated enough. And I like that. Me soon come. Okay. Hot water, you know that. Set back to me with the camera. You put it in a little. Look at me here. So you're going to know when the curry work place enough. And when it not work place. Although these nowadays. Look at me here. Look at me here. See you there? You get pan it, Kimmy. Mm -hmm. This is the color of your curry. Okay. Up. Put your meat back and to the side you're gonna throw the amount of water you're gonna estimate to pressure this curry mutton. Look at me here, me don't throw water. Look at me, you see the little chinny bit of mutton down in there? Remember on my pressure cooking um, information or lesson I told you just to cover the meat, just to cover the meat. This is what I have, no more. If you are cooking, boiling down, stewing down, you know what to do. I'm pressuring. So I'm going to go ahead now. Look at me. Give them one more shot, Kimmy. Shoot them up again. Shoot them up, Kimmy. Shoot them up. Okay, that's the color of my curry. And that is where I'm at with my pressure. And I'm going to go now and leave my curry for pressure. As soon come. Okay? As soon come. Okay, now family, we are back. And I've transferred my mutton from my pressure onto in a jesse. This pressure cooker, if you follow me, you will know, say, it is going to the pressure cooker. Listen, this is a powerful pressure cooker. It came out with almost the amount of liquid I put in there because it's powerful and the mutton is really tender. Okay? So I'm going to want pressure it till when me look, me see it on mud because I've got to do some graving down. Look at me here. Mutton is sitting where not easily cook. Look at me. I want to show you. Let me use a plate to show you. I want to cut it to show you with the fork that it's almost cooked. Look at me. You see that? See there? Okay. So now we're going to get our flame is up already and we have started boiling. You know we're going to put some of this. This is to give it some body and also put the camera from making me. You got to know the curry powder because some people they mix it with um some curry powders are mixed with breadcrumbs and stuff to give it you know to help that when you're graving down you have body so you got to know too you know and some people will say them are doing gluten free right now and they're curry there. so we have got this here some irish potatoes right in there and right here i have some chopped bell peppers this is not a must is not compulsory but putting it in there to give it a little extra gig because I'm going all herbs and all of that. Look at me here. This is how it looks. 
the curry color now go on by the me. And you put your amount of Irish and you see your Irish in there. Look at me here now. Put the camera up and make you me. You're going to taste now for your curry flavor. Salt perfection and pepper. Oh my God. We want the one in mukbang. And we want a little more pepper. So look at me here. Shoot them up here. Look at me here. You don't want no extra water in a dish. Fin long water you done. And when you're done, you're gonna have both a protein can starch. What you're gonna do at this point, you're gonna leave your mutton on this medium to let everything gel. Let your potatoes cook for tender nothing, mash out and get butter butter because this is how we're gonna be doing it and all of that and so on. So you're gonna just leave it and then you're gonna come a few times. Give it a few stirs that it come together because we are look for that. You know what we're looking for? Put the camera me. We are look for that long time, old time, curry mutton gravy. And long water, and I'm bad sitting. May soon come. Okay? All done. Look at me here. Look at this Jamaican curry mutton. Look at me here. And you're gonna slow cook down this. Until you get your gravy looking like this. When it cools down. If you don't dish now. And it cools down. When you're ready to dish. You might want to add a little more water. And let it boil up. You know just to get it heated a little more. Because look at me here. Look at me. See your Irish them there. Them no mash out. They're all cooked. But they thickened the gravy. Oh this look me. You like how the curry mutton here look? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the real deal. Really gonna go, look thick. Yes, I'm gonna go plate up some for you and come back. When you get this pan your rice, you will know. My son, come. From my kitchen to yours, from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your plate, to your Thanksgiving table, to your Christmas dinner table, and most of all, to your stomach. It is the real old time, long time Jamaican curry mutton this is jamaican goat all grass fed and all of that i just garnish with a little red and yellow bell peppers just for garnishing for just make it look different look at me here miss debbie why we can't eat that way i'm gonna show you hop right on over to the jamaican mocha bang that's where we're gonna throw down with this and what we'll eat it with if you have liked this video make sure to give it a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed to the jamaican cooking journey when you do subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell like oh Shepi I do. Okay? You, you see what I'm saying? Make sure you're hitting the notification bell. You're leaving your comments below, principal and decent. And I like that. Remember our cakes. You know, we are we're got we're, we're we're selling cakes and we're just like Canada and America for now. Like probably other Caribbean countries and all of that. UK is out for us. DHL doesn't ship to the UK okay so once more thanks for your love thanks for your support and remember that our zelle our cash app paypal email everything is there or will be there in the description of the videos okay thanks so much again once more debbie from Dongayar. bless no stress